Hi everyone, I'm Wendy Rogers, President and CEO of the Beaver Creek Chamber of Commerce, and I'm here today on location with Dylan Bono of Perry Protech, and we're here at their, I want to call it your headquarters, huh? does that sound sure. okay Dylan? Yeah. At their headquarters <laughs> here in Dayton, and Dylan is going to show us or talk to us a little bit about some new technology that you guys are rolling out. So what we're rolling out, and this is very new, is called the Translation Assistant. Mm -hmm. And, and I'll, I'll share, I won't go too much into the technical side, but I'll share a little bit about how it works. Printers and copiers, normally when you scan a document, they take a photograph of the page. And that's why a lot of the manufacturers of printers and copiers are, sure. are camera manufacturers too. What, this technology is, is called OCR, and it scans the actual document and reads the characters on the page rather than just taking a picture of it. And that's been around for quite some time, but there's a new application that piggybacks off the technology and will translate the text on a scanned page. And we're gonna show how that works today. We are, and I get to do it. So it's really cool because we can take, let me see, we're gonna take, just some English, you know, a couple paragraphs written in English, and we're going to translate it into an entire new language using what looks like just like your, your printer, your copier, right? Mm -hmm. So what you see is you'll see a translation assistant. That's what you look for, right, Dylan, to be able to do this piece. So we're just going to put that in. Kind of like how on a, on a smartphone or an iPad, yeah. we'll have an app. It's you just an app, app. app on, your, on your device. So we've got translation assistance, and if we hit that. It's gonna prompt for, for a pin. One. Yep. So I'm gonna type in our pin real quick. Everybody remember this code. <laughs> Whoops. Go ahead, Dylan. So it's gonna take a from language. So this is your starting language. Obviously we have English selected, but maybe you want to translate your French text or your French document, or uh, I, I'm not really too sure what that language is right there, but Italian or Norsk or, or et cetera. And it will allow you to take that starting document. In this case, we have an English page and you, you click next and it will allow you to translate it into any language out there. As you can see, there are tons and tons of language options to translate into. That's pretty amazing because it's great if you have, and we're going to pick, I think we're going to pick Spanish, right? Yeah. So we're going to select Spanish. We've got that selected. We'll hit next. It and gives you the, the choice email. here. You, you, can, you can send it as an email once it's translated into your other language of choice, or you can have it shoot off as an email. But we're going to print this today. We just want and it'll one. ask you how many copies that you want. If you're doing a memo or you want to distribute out a lot of copies to individuals. Look at that. It's going to magically take that. It's going to think about it a little bit so it can go through translation. We kind of did this ahead of time. <laughs> so we're going to pull that right out. But look at that. Here's your translation into Spanish. So you had your English version that was translated right into Spanish. And so what's so cool about that, I think, is Dylan, if you grab that too, it can do not only just simple paragraphs. It can do things like this stuff. But it can do pamphlets, it can do any kind of information. So if your company has maybe a Spanish speaking people that you need to reach out to and you want to send out a product guide, you can simply scan your product guide in, tell it to translate to Spanish, and your whole guide with pictures and everything is completely done. And that is pretty amazing. There it is. There it is. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't even take very long no. to come out. No. So it's really cool to give you those opportunities. Or if you work with a global company and you get information in from your folks over maybe in Germany or somewhere over in Europe, and they send you those documents in that language, you can simply put it in there and have it print to English. Now you know what they're trying to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't speak a second language, so it's uh, helpful for me. <laughs> so it's really cool. What a great, that's an amazing application and how quick and easy that was. Dylan, this is wonderful. So how do you go about adding this application to your current system? Well, the, we have a couple of different devices that have it preloaded. Okay. 
and they are available on uh, a couple of our different Lexmark devices. Obviously, this is one of them, the XM3350. There are a few options, so if this is something that might benefit an organization out there, it's something that you would want to have implemented in your mm -hmm. office, talk to me. I'll be happy to talk through what, what the uh, specifications are and, and how it might, might benefit your organization. Now, Dylan, how can everybody reach out to you? By phone or email. So my phone number is 937-303-2623. And um, I think I ask this every video we do, but <laughs> if my email will be on the, the link, then it will yes. be there too. Or you can always go on to the Beaver Creek Chamber website at beavercreekchamber.org and look up Perry Protech through our member directory and you can get all of Dylan's information there. But thank you so much, Dylan. This is incredible technology and we were so excited to be able to learn more about this today. Thanks for coming out and uh, thanks for spending the time with me. Absolutely. Thanks, yeah. Dylan. Thanks, everybody.